New tonight, the CDC says car crashes are the leading cause of death for teenagers. So, a UGA student from Macon proposed a new driving law in a scholarship essay competition to help keep new drivers safe. It won him $2,500. Pepper Baker tells you how he'd like to see his idea used to help teens behind the wheel. A friend of mine was in a car accident. And that's the first time I've ever had to almost, like experience anything like just a thought of a friend of mine of being gone. Adrian Thomas believes car accidents happen too often among young drivers. When the opportunity came for him to address it, he didn't hesitate. I was like, this is something I really need to focus on. It was the first $2,500 scholarship essay competition for Macon's Buzzle Welsh and Hill Law Firm. More than 150 entered. Thomas won. The topic of our essay that we proposed this year was how or it was to create and write a law that would reduce the number of automobile accidents. So what I did with this was make driver's ed a high school graduation requirement because a lot of the kids I talked to at the school at UGA told me that they either didn't have a driver's ed or they had to pay for it. Currently in the state of Georgia, it's not mandatory as a graduation requirement to do driver's education. Seth Massey from Georgia's driving school says many students pay for an outside driving school to get the hours needed and complete the alcohol and drugs awareness program. It's 425 total for the 30 hours of classroom and six hours behind the wheel driving plus the ADAP. Taking a driver's ed course may actually be less costly in the long run. The State Department of Driver Services says insurance companies can offer cheaper automobile insurance premiums to those who complete a driver's ed course. Thomas says that's an added bonus for young drivers if the course itself was free. It being offered at the school really gave me an opportunity to get my license as early as I could, to learn the rule books, to learn the rules of the road, and to just help me further in the future. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Thomas is the first in his family to go to college. Hill says they plan to continue the scholarship essay competition every year. They'll start accepting submissions in May.